Imagine if one day, the place you call home was suddenly swallowed by water, what would you do? How would you react? This is not a hypothetical scenario for the citizens of Derna, Libya. On September 10th of 2023, they found themselves in the middle of a nightmare as a massive flood, triggered by the collapse of dams, devastated their city. The storm, named Daniel, was no ordinary tempest. It was a force of nature that quickly morphed into a disaster of epic proportions. As the storm raged, it claimed lives, destroyed homes, and left a trail of devastation in its wake. The Libyan National Army reported the initial death toll to be around 2,000, but as the days wore on, the number of casualties rose to a heart-wrenching of 11,300. Thousands more were reported missing, their fates uncertain. But the flood did not stop at claiming lives. It also swept away whole neighborhoods, reducing them to rubble. The aftermath was a chilling sight, a stark reminder of the power of nature. Four major oil ports were shut down, cutting off a vital lifeline for the country. Schools and stores were closed, a curfew was imposed, and a state of extreme emergency was declared. In the face of such a calamity, the resilience of the human spirit shone through. Search and rescue operations were launched, with people risking their lives to save others. The internationally recognized government in Tripoli called on the international community for assistance. The United Nations and Qatar pledged to provide relief assistance, demonstrating that in times of crisis, humanity can come together to help those in need. Yet the struggle is far from over. As the city tries to recover, the survivors are in urgent need of clean water, food, shelter, and basic supplies. The risk of cholera, diarrhea, dehydration, and malnutrition looms large, threatening to claim even more lives. The United Nations has launched an aid appeal for over $71 million, highlighting the urgent need for help. The flood in Derna is a stark reminder of the devastating impact of climate change. It is a call to action for all of us. We must take steps to combat climate change, not just for our sake, but for the sake of future generations. We must support relief efforts, not just in times of crisis, but in the aftermath when the rebuilding begins. Remember, change begins with you. Whether it's reducing your carbon footprint, supporting sustainable practices, or contributing to relief efforts, every little bit helps. It's time to stand up, take action, and make a difference. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. This is our planet. Let's protect it. As we conclude this report, we extend our heartfelt condolences to all those affected by the 2023 floods in Libya. Together, we can raise awareness, promote preparedness, and work towards a safer and more resilient future. We invite you, our viewers, to support our mission by liking and subscribing to our GeoQuiz Science Quest channel, ensuring that you stay informed about crucial issues that demand our attention. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Mm hmm?